Hey, what's up guys? I am going to be making a very quick balsamic vinaigrette. I know some of you guys out there already do this all the time, but stuff like this, I mean, obviously this is shown worldwide. There's a lot of people, different cultures and stuff that never tried this before. That's why I'm making this video. So I know there's a select few of you who are thinking, duh, I do that all the time. Well, a lot of people don't. So basically I'm going to be doing a, a cooking video in a little bit, just showing my lunch. Technically I'm not actually cooking anything, I'm just assembling food. But um, in that little dish, I'm uh, using balsamic vinaigrette, which I absolutely love. And so I want to show you how to make it. It's very, very easy, very quick. If you happen to like this and you go out and you buy it all the time, it's cheaper and it tastes even better to make it yourself. So under my recommendation, I would say at least try this once. Balsamic vinegar has so much flavor already. And then the Italian seasoning um, that you could use for this, it's just over the top. It's delicious. Not only is it great on salads and it's a healthier option than, of course, the absolutely amazing, delicious, chunky blue cheese that's out there or the creamy ranch dressing and all the other crap, but which is, by the way, delicious. I love most salad dressings, but this tastes almost as good. In some cases, it tastes even better, and it, it's nowhere near as fattening or has any calories or anything like that. Plus, besides putting it uh, directly on um, your salads and stuff, it is awesome for marinades to put on steaks, especially in the summertime if you're going to make a, a big London broil or something. You marinate it overnight or for like six or seven hours in balsamic vinaigrette. And it's amazing. It really, it, it kicks up the flavor like a, a, a hundred times. So anyway, all you really need for this is one of these correct things. All right, you can get these at the store. In fact, they sell starter kits for dressing. And uh, you'll basically get this, uh, this glass bottle with the top. All right, and this is kind of important because this has markings on there to show you what, how much of each uh, ingredient you need to put in here. But you can get these for like five or six bucks. It's this bottle and usually you'll get one or two packets of seasoning to kind of start your, your dressing making, so to speak. But it's really, really easy to do. Like I said, the markings are right on here. All we really need is this cruet. You need um, some kind of olive oil and some kind of vinegar. Now, obviously, I'm making balsamic vinaigrette, so I'm going to use a balsamic uh, vinegar. And then, of course, your, your Italian seasoning packet. This one happens to be wishbone. Um, I took a little bit out because this is for a larger quantity of dressing, so I didn't need as much seasoning. But it's really, really straightforward. It's so easy to do. The markings are right on here. Um, the first line is V. Well, you can see there, and there's a line. So that's how much vinegar we put in. So you start with your vinegar. This is the balsamic vinegar I get just because it's cheap. It tastes just as good. Yes, there's super expensive aged balsamic vinegars and stuff. You don't need that for this. Whatever you can find at the store will be fine. They all taste pretty much the same. So this is what I use. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is put enough vinegar in to hit that line. Right there. Hopefully you can see that. This is a vinegar line. The next one, it's a very, very short step up, and this is just water. All right. Of course, you can use regular tap water, but because I usually use uh, spring water instead, I don't trust my, my tap water up here. I don't know, it's just there's a lot of heavy metals and stuff in it, so I'll just use a little spring water. There you go. Not much at all. Just kind of thins it out a little bit. Then you want to put your oil in, and the oil line is right here. See the O? And for this, this is the extra virgin olive oil I'll use. I would recommend, if you're using this for dressing, to use extra virgin. There's obviously a lot of different presses. Um, this is the extra virgin olive oil is the first press when they squeeze olives to get the oil out. It's the first one. Then all the other grades are less flavorful, you know, less um, like dense, I guess you'd say. So this is the one that I use. Again, somewhat cheap. It's not the cheapest one, but um, it's a really good one for the money. I think this bottle is like six bucks or something, and it goes a long way. So you want to put in your extra virgin olive oil up to our line. Of course, oil and vinegar will separate. That's why you want to shake it right before you serve it. So there you go. And then lastly, our seasoning packets. Now when you buy these for dressing, they make them specifically for these bottles. So you just buy the packets and you can get like a, a pack of three or four of them for like three bucks. Not that expensive. So put in our seasoning. This has all kinds of stuff in it. Garlic, onion, there's I think black pepper. It really kind of brings everything together. It ugh, tastes amazing. If you've never had this, this is really worth trying at least once. This is great for, I mean, well, I'm gonna use it for later is on some uh, tomatoes and mozzarella. 
for lunch. So anyway, that's it. Put the top on. Make sure you have a nice seal on there. You can see how everything layers. But we want to shake this up very well. Good hearty shaking. So obviously the oil and vinegar want to separate. You store this in your refrigerator, but make sure you don't put it in a um, too cold of a spot. Because I've done that before where I put it in my refrigerator and I put it in the back and it got too cold and uh, the oil and stuff solidified, which is, you don't want that. So I have to heat it up every now and then. But you do want to uh, refrigerate it. I mean, I, don't know, I know some people who don't, but I would, just in case. And there you go. It's absolutely delicious, full of flavor. Like I said, it's awesome directly on uh, salad dressing, or in my case, I'm putting a little drizzle over some tomatoes and, and fresh mozzarella. And uh, it's awesome for marinade, for meats, anything. Steak, fish, well, not fish. I wouldn't <laughs> marinate fish with this. Um, but steak and chicken, or even pork sometimes, absolutely awesome. So there you go. Very, very simple, straightforward. Do it yourself. Balsamic vinaigrette. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take care.